coming up tonight between now and half past six. The Chancellor uses his budget to say Cornwall will get more power to decide its own future. In the first of our new county deals, we're making progress on a major plan to give Cornwall a greater say over local decisions. Plus, better or worse off how the budget went down with Truro taxpayers. The Good Life, the pioneering project to make a profit from a plot. And a good yarn of a story that is gripping a village in North Devon. Good evening. Cornish decisions for Cornish people. Devolution for the duchy was mentioned by the Chancellor George Osborne today as part of the first all-Tory budget for almost three decades. He also said he'd help the West Country's low paid by introducing a new living wage for all over 25s. Employers will be required by law to pay them at least £7.20 an hour from April. But the budget also fleshed out the huge cuts to the welfare budget. Some people will see benefits it's frozen and tax credits cut. Well, in a moment, reaction from Westminster. First, our reporter Cathy Wardle has been getting reaction from one group of taxpayers in Truro. He said it was a budget for working people, but some felt that's at the expense of the vulnerable. We've been following the Chancellor's budget with a panel of registered blind people and benefits experts from charity Eyesight Cornwall. The stats, the statistics are there that people, you know, that, that are visually impaired are more likely not to be in employment. So therefore, the, what's been announced in the budget is not really going to have a significant impact or a benefit for those that already are struggling. Plans to bring employment and support allowance for those off sick in line with job seekers allowance could see some worse off. I can see where they're coming from because they're equalising, you know, the Job Seekers Allowance and ESA and essentially they are both people that are at that particular moment in time aren't able to work. But it's the long term effect of somebody that is ill or sick or disabled that is going to have the knock on effect. It's very difficult to be placed in the support group and actually end up on a livable wage. But there were many positives too. A 1% cut in social rents, no changes to the disability living allowance, a tax threshold rise to £11,000 and a national living wage rising from £7.20 to £9 an hour. If they do what they say, it's going to be very good for us. Uh, you know, it'll be a great help with the... Uh, you know, cost of living and things. The raising of the tax allowances will mean that as a family we'll be taken out of the tax, so that will make life a lot easier for us. Fight, 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 fight. In Truro, anti-austerity rallies have been held throughout the day. Uh, George Osborne wants to give tax breaks to millionaires, he wants to raise the inheritance tax allowance to, to help uh, benefit the richest in society, whilst Whilst the poorest are just getting cuts, £12 billion pounds of welfare cuts. You know, it's absolutely disgraceful. It's thought around half the planned cuts were announced today, with the real Mr Osborne set to reveal more in his autumn statement. Kathy Wardle, ITV News, Truro. And 